Hey you guys, I just wanted to show you, um, this is one of our many, many, many quash pastured quail yards. I'll call it a yard, a pasture. This one is our tiniest one. It's super tiny. Um, I bought these two tractors. I'm going to retrofit them a little bit. I'm going to put some plastic roofing on the top um, to kind of keep the rain off a little more. And I might put some 2 by 4s around, attach it to the base, just because that's the part that's on the ground. It's going to stay wet more. I don't want it to rot. Um, and then in the winter, I'll probably give them three sides of shelter and just keep one open. Just something I can, you know, some plywood that you can attach to the sides and then take off. So normally we build our quail tractors. These were $100 from walmart.com so I needed extra space quick so I bought some and I actually really like them. And this space is, I think this is 40 feet by 30 feet, 45 by 30. And this is great. I have 10 quail in each tractor for a total of 20 quail. This you can replicate so easy in a backyard. Um, I move them every day, one little spot every day. You can see it's not ruining the grass. That's where they came from. And this is where they're going. And then they'll go over to that side next week. Um, it doesn't ruin the grass. It fertilizes your grass. They're getting extra nutrients. They're eating bugs, ticks, all the things. Um, they're cutting down on their own feed costs by doing that, which is awesome. I don't know if you can see them in there. It's kind of shady, which is great. Um, we have this electric net fencing up around it because we have a lot of coyotes, bears. I mean, we're pretty rural back here. Um, you know, foxes, neighborhood dogs, raccoons, everything wants to get the quail. So we opted for this electric net fencing from Premier One, um, which we put around. And then it has a little solar charger right here, which is in the shade right now. I have to do some pruning. But this works great. Um, if you had a fully enclosed backyard and not a lot of predators, then you could probably get away without it. But this is what we use around all of our quail tractors. But this is the easiest way to keep quail. Fill up their food and water containers once a week. It lasts about a week. You can go on vacation, come back. Um, if you do go on vacation for a week, I would move the tractors to a spot where you don't care if they do kill the grass. If you want the grass to live, move it every day or even every other day to get it away with. But you can see like they do not kill the grass behind it. They just fertilize it because we're keeping them moving. Um, never have a cage to clean out. I just flip open the top and I collect the eggs. It's super easy. Super easy. Um, one quail takes $1.50 to get it from hatch age all the way up to eight weeks, which is harvest weight. If you're raising them for meat, you can count on for the jumbos about $1.50 to, uh, to feed them during that time. They're cheap. You can feed them chick starter. You can feed them game bird starter. Once they're laying, you can feed them game bird breeder or even just a chicken layer crumble. Works great. That's what we have ours on. And, uh, and it's the best way to raise quail. I hate stinky coops that I have to clean out. So this is, this is my style. All right, just wanted to show you this. We'll check back later.